we just watched a Kung Fu Panda 4. We got a little cup. And I think that was the best movie of my life. Not the best movie of my life. You bought that cup blindly not knowing you were going to get it on. That was a really good movie. I don't care what anybody else says. I was like having a blast. What are your thoughts? I thought it was great. I like Jack Black at the end. No, dude. That, the ending of that was like great. Not even like the ending of like the story, but like the ending like <laughs> was so golden. YouTube racer. Okay. Was just th so golden. I loved it. We're about to go get canes. Oh my god, that was so fun. No. We're eating canes. I probably look bad. Yeah, you do. Oh, don't say that. Guys, I just went to the best. So I'm in, okay. So I'm in the next town over because I had to drop my sister off at like our, one of our youth events. And I just went to the best donut shop in this freaking town. My grandma used to take me every day and I got a glazed donut and a kolache. And let me tell you, best place ever. Here's the thing about Texas, like, oh, here's the thing about East Texas. Can I get out? Here's the thing about East Texas, like, donut shops. They are always, oh, I'm going to hit the car. They are always run by some little small family. Uh, it is always, and they're named, like, some of the most random things ever. So, like, this one, A-plus donuts. Mm -hmm. And they are A-plus. I'd give them an A-plus plus if I could. Oh, my God, I look so bad. So, yeah, and they're always run by this small family they have the best donuts and best kolaches which is just a pig in a blanket but it's always delicious the service is always phenomenal because they're just trying to they're earning a living and you know what that's fine anyways it's always like they're always named like some random thing and they warm up my kolache for me every time I don't want to hear no, like, we don't have any, like, Duncan, Hertz, but we don't have, like, chain donut places, you know? We got these little mom and pop shops, and you know what? If a chain ever opened up around me, I would never go. Never. Never. Because these mom and pop shops are doing it right, and they're fighting for their right to do it right. <laughs> and I'll take it. I'll take it. Five bucks for everything. Was there an extra 50 cent charge on my card because it was under five dollars? Yes. Do I care? No. I know where all my proceeds are going. Hi! Good morning, my lovely people. It's really freaking hot. It's not really. Okay. So, it is Monday. And as you can see, I am not in my dorm room. Uh, spring break ended yesterday. But, unfor- I didn't turn my windshield wipers off. Unfortunately for me, I am still here in Texas. But we leave today. The reason why I'm still here is because for my educational psychology class, I desperately need to interview someone. Um, educator, administrator, da 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 about my topic of like divorce effects on- divorce affecting parental involvement. Shitty topic, I or uh, divorce affecting parental or academic success. It's kind of a shitty, shitty topic, but it's an um, it's a subtopic of the parental involvement on academic success, and I couldn't think of anything else. So, so now I it's due on Sunday, and I have a backup plan. Like I know someone who I could, but I don't want to. So I texted my physics teacher from high school and I said hey like I desperately need an interview can I interview you and he said yeah sure just do it during third period and I said bless you so now we're headed to my old high school so fun fact about him is that I know him and I have this I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna sit down in front of him and be so fucking honest I'm gonna tell him Aaron Mr. Kurz 
Aaron. I need you to yap. Sir, I need you to yap. I need you to yap for at minimum 20 minutes about these five questions. Please, sir. Please. Please. And then we're going straight home. Ah! I was going to also interview one of my old administrators. Um, but he told me, he told my sister to email him. And I emailed him. And I didn't get a response back. The thing about this is I don't know if I can get into school. I asked, when I texted my teacher last night, I don't want to call in my teacher. When I texted him last night, he was like, yeah, sure, like just do it during third period, that'd be fine. And I said, okay, yeah, sure, that works for me. How do I get in? He said, yeah, that's fine. Just check in with the front desk. We're a closed campus. And I don't want to be like, I'm visiting. So I'm gonna be like, hey, like I have a meeting with Mr. So-and-so. Can I, can I get in? Can you get me in? But um, that's what we're trying today. I, let me give you a little backlash. I, don't get me wrong. I loved high school. Um, the premise of it. I hated being in it. I loved the idea. I hated being in it. Like, okay, maybe I kind of liked like going, like the classes and the structure and the learning. I just hated everything that wasn't related to being educated in high school. This is because I I called myself, uh, I, was, I was known by everybody. I wasn't popular. Everybody knew who I was. I was an annoying fuck. Um, I thought, I thought so bad that I was the shit. I was not the shit. I, and I'm also terrified. I graduated only two years ago. So I'm terrified of the stereotype of uh, visiting high school just to like reflecting on high school. That's not what I'm doing. I would rather die. That's where we're off to. So we'll see what happens. I'm in the parking lot of like the visitor and I'm terrified of my ass. Like I'm so scared. Like I'm actually scared. I think it's a fear of, am I gonna get in? Like, am I actually gonna be able to do this? Like everybody else in that class has a practicum, so they're all doing that they're, they're practicum teachers. So I'm just like, uh, I can't. I could, I don't wanna email her though. That's like so, plus their lunch period is like 20 minutes. Also, she's only a second year teacher. I'm so scared. Don't know why, I'm so scared. I had to text Destiny, I'm so scared. I'm terrified because I don't wanna like not get in. I think that's my reasoning. Guys, what the fuck, I'm in. What the fuck, how did I get in this place? My dang GPS turned me around. It changed where I was going because of a flash flood warning apparently. And it like, I missed a normal loop that I normally take. And I was like, okay, what's going on? And I decided to trust it, Should, shouldn't have done that. Now I'm on in this country like road places and I turned off my directions and now there's no signal and i'm lost and i am terrified out of my mind i don't know where i'm at and there's no signal anywhere i feel like i'm in a horror movie but i'm not like freaking out freaking out i'm just kind of like i'm just like a little bit panicky okay i think where we left off i had um gotten lost i found my way back um, I wasted gas doing it, but I found my way back. Um, I'm in Arkansas. I have like four hours left. Five. Four hours and some change. We're gonna power through. I got lost. It tried to take me through Louisiana, but I said no. Rose, if you're watching this, I would have gone through Shreveport and visited you, but I'm tired and want to go home. As of right now, I think that's the end of this video. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll probably say that and you'll probably see another clip of me, um, right after this. Normalize staying home for spring break. Normalize not going anywhere for spring break. My interview went fine. Uh, it, I was like, we got to my third question and it was like seven minutes and I was like, I was like, Aaron, I need you to yap. But I couldn't tell him that, so. I hated being in that high school. That was the most disgusting thing. I also just don't like, I don't like forced conversations. I hate it. It gets me really anxious. So me having to like actually have a conversation with this man not having like fun time the front desk lady goes oh do you remember where it is shut up like that's so stop 
I don't want any. I asked him, I said, what time does third or fourth period start? He goes, in like a minute. I said, I gotta go. Because if I see anybody here and I get claimed on that I'm, I'm a really in high school, da, 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 I will die. I will die. I will actually die. He's a yapper. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, let's uh, get this show on the road. Bye, my precious babies. Oh, bye, my precious babies. I'm home. Um, I'm about to edit this video once I get the chance. Um, I just want everyone to know, if you didn't go anywhere for spring break, or you're not going anywhere for spring break, that's perfectly fine. You can still make fun out of it. I hope this video taught you at least that. Because I had fun. My friend got me a water and I'm chugging it. Anyways. I love you. I'm giving preface that once I hit 50 subscribers, I'm getting a cake. And putting 5-0 in that bitch. Because <laughs> I think it's so funny. But also, I never in my fucking life thought that I would have 50 fucking subscribers the fuck <laughs> sometimes i ask myself why you guys are here but i'm not gonna do that <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get the fucking cake and someone's gonna unsubscribe <laughs> anyways y'all should stay tuned for tomorrow or next tuesday's video because that shit's gonna be so fire <laughs> at least i hope <laughs> anyways See ya. Bye.